These seniors have been piecing a patchwork project together for months in order to pay tribute to Black History Month. And so if the quilt was hanging out on the line or on the porch or on a chair someplace, the runaway slave knew that it was an area that was safe and so they could go to that area. We um, knew that we had quilts with African American themes on them and we assumed that there were other people who had quilts you know, in their history or grandparents made or something like that and we decided to see what was out there. The African American History Club and the Quilt Club at the Riderwood Retirement Community in Silver Spring came together to present their first African American quilt show featuring more than a dozen quilts from many different aspects of history. The quilts are either you know, African American themed, so there's some underground railroad symbolism on some of the quilts, or that the fabric is African uh, fabric that was used. So that was the theme of, of entry into the show today. And so I think this is just a great time to celebrate you know, that work. Some of the quilts are history themselves, passed down from generation to generation while others, like this one depicting President Obama's second term win, were made by residents right here in Silver Spring. Oh, it's very important for us to look back and see the history. It, it's interesting, uh, one of the um, quilters had two quilts that were made of feed sacks, and so, so many people didn't know about feed sacks, but so many other people really remember feed sacks. So there's a lot of remembering going on. And for those looking for a way to learn and give back, it was a chance to write their own history. I've always been interested in, in our history, and so this was a nice way for me to participate. Is the, she calls this one the Underground Railroad, and over there we called it Jacob's Ladder. So the names vary. For MyMC Media, I'm Valerie Bonk.